Hey there, Bridge family. It's Pastor Jeff. And today I'd like to talk to you very briefly about an incredibly important point when it comes to biblical blessings. I'd like to ask you a question, and then I'd like to answer that question in a way that I pray will help you to walk down the divine road of discovery. I pray that this might be one of those aha moments where you'll come to realize something that so many in the world just don't get. So here's the question. What do you need to do? What do you need to do to build a blessing? What do you need to do to build a blessing? Now here's the answer, and it may surprise many of you. The first thing that you have to do, if you have any hope of building a blessing, is to admit that you cannot build a blessing, that you've got to come to grips with the fact that the blessings that are in our lives come as gifts of grace, that every blessing, every blessing is truly a gift of Almighty God, that Jesus the Christ has graced you and me with any and every blessing we have. You cannot build a blessing. You've got to receive this gift of grace, this divine improvement that when something, somehow, some way becomes better in your life, it comes from the root system. It is the fruit that comes from the root system of Almighty God, His gospel, and His grace. To some degree, every blessing, whether we're talking about the sunrise that every person gets to enjoy, or the salvation where you've been captured by God's grace, every blessing comes as a gift from Almighty God. I pray that you'll come to realize that you cannot build your own blessings, and that you'll take a posture and the perspective of one who is surrendered and submitted to the one true living God. That surrender, that submission, that embrace of the grace of God's truth and love is the starting line for blessings. It's when and where you and I bow down in praise and worship when we submit to Creator Christ. That's where blessings begin. It's in the surrendering to victory in Jesus that marks the starting line where we're then able to open up the floodgates of faith, where we repent and believe we'll be blessed in our obedience. I pray that you understand this, that you and I cannot build up a blessing. All of our blessings come down from a loving, merciful, gracious God. His name is Jesus. Amen and amen.